rundown today is we're going to have four stations. Dave Odom and Eric Brown is going to be up top on the orange slide. That's going to be your truing and ballistics. Uh, the props here is Doug and Reese Bowes over positional. The corn planter is going to be Eric Tompkins. And Alex and me are going to be here with a rifle setup. Uh, first of all, we're going to start off all here. We're going to get a good 50 yards here and go over scope cant and kind of get that lined out, do a little bit of demonstration on that. And then as soon as you're done zero, when Dave's going to have a chronograph set up, we're going to get velocities for you. Um, record your velocity. Record, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Make sure you make So, pretty much what I'm going to try to do is try to, so I actually have a level right here for my mount. Mm -hmm. So, I'll actually try to get that as close to level as possible. So, I usually get right behind the level. See, and right now it's level. So, it's level right now. And then, pretty much what I'll do is I'll actually go to hang up a plumb bob up against a, you know, it'd be kind of like over like a dark room. I'll hang a plumb bob off the wall. I don't know off the fridge. I don't know off, the, you know, deep mm. freezer. I've done it off of all different kinds of stuff. I'll hang that, and then I'll actually go to take a flashlight. I'll shine from the objective end. And part of the reason that's why I do that is if you shine a flashlight from this end, your picture's gonna come out real small. Mm -hmm. if you shine from this way, it comes out real nice and big. So it's a lot easier for you to actually adjust your reticle. Magnifies your reticle. Mm -hmm. I go to the toe of the stock just right below my collarbone and you see how this is more center line. So pretty much what happens, so that one, this is going to shorten up the length of the pool. I have some really long arms from my height and so my length of pool is going to be kind of long anyhow. Go over a little bit of length pool prone. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and pull the rifle up and you see how my elbows are the even distance. Yeah, I'm not canning it off. I feel like what you'll see, you know, sometimes you'll see someone go through and shoot like this. Right. And if you're doing that, guess what happens? But yeah, it's going to recoil up in order to the right. Yeah. yeah. You'll see that. And if you're the other way, you'll see it recoil up and left. And so, you want to go through, you want to have it set up to where you're square behind your rifle. You want your feet flat. You want to pull it up. I pull mine. I pull the uh, toe of the stock just right below my collarbone. And I usually go through and come on down over onto the bag. That gives me a nice, good, sturdy. That was high right. Come down to four and give me three tenths left. So, as a match director, a lot of times I will deliberately set this barricade up. If the target's straight in front of you, you can't get to it. You want to encourage them to shoot up here. Well, a way to combat that is to put another bag here. If they if they allow two bags, come down here. Use this as a as a brace. Use your elbow on your knee to get stable. And then you're shooting right off here, and it just makes so everything so much more stable. And you can get straight to the target. If not, you're gonna want to hold hold the bag if yes. it's real steep. Like this one here settles in pretty good because it's wet now. But if you can't, you just pinch your bag on here. And always, anytime you can get support, get support. If they your support hand on this on your knee solid and you don't want it you don't want to do toe up if it's not if it's not where you can't get your foot stable mm -hmm. you're better off just go ahead and go on two knees in my opinion i mean i'm more stable on two knees than i am one oh, yeah. one but if you can get that elbow support 
Yep. Yep. I got a mic there. Feel a lot more I'll comfortable to you. Yeah, I saw that. I made some cutouts where I can stick it in there. <laughs> Perfect job keeping. Now, yeah, did you see what he did there? He didn't come off of his stock to to, to, to dial his dope. He stayed in the in the stock in the in the glass. Get your elbow on your knee. Mm -hmm. You're right there. That's your position. Or, so sometimes they'll make you do strong side and weak side. Yeah. This way you'd have to flip all the way over. So that's when I like to go straight on. So you're straight like here, and then all you gotta do is just slide over to the left and right or pull your gun. So you stay in the same position, mm -hmm. especially when it's real steep like this. transitioning and moving around you're going to be rushing and that don't work mm -hmm. don't work for it. so we're going to be shooting two rounds here there's a target at 80 and a target at 100 shoot close far go to there do the same thing close far here and then on the tongue of the 